Um, here's how I would draw a long chain alkane. You have this tool here, and uh, you can just click, and it ma nicely makes a zigzag in the correct um, path, you know? And anyway, you can branch off and do things like that. Now, let's say you want a chlorine atom coming out of the board. Um, so there's this tool right under the smiley face. It looks like a wedge. And if we click here, it changes uh, that to a wedge. And um, if we select, don't, don't select the end of the bond. You see, that, that will do that. You don't want to do that. But if you select a bond, it highlights the bond, um, you know, red. And so if you click once, oops, <laughs> I meant to have the bond tool selected. Okay, if you select once, it changes it from a wedge to a dash. Okay, so it changes it to a wedge to a dash if you want. Now, you never have to draw hydrogens. Um, it will understand that there's a, a, a dash on the chlorine. And if I change this to a um, dash, <laughs> I'm going all crazy here, clicking by mistake. If I change that to a dash, it's understood to have the hydrogen there. Okay, so you don't need to add the hydrogen. Um, I do believe you can add the, there's not even a hydrogen atom here. So yeah, don't do that. Now. You can always change a line to a wedge or a dash if you wanted to. Um, this works for rings too, so if you have a ring and you want to put two methyl groups that are trans to each other, you know, you could do something like that. So I anyway, that's how you use the tool for stereochemistry. It's right here. Um, let me delete all this garbage and then I'll... I'll refresh your memory on how to um, select this um, there's a bug here in the software. Okay, so yeah, remember like so like if you have this uh, let's say one three trans whatever uh, with the wedges drawn in there, you click the smiley face, and this is where you would select the um, the structure and then Control C or or you know. Control C, Command C if you're a Mac, and then you can paste that into your answer box. Okay?